After 76 days behind bars in Thailand, Hakim al Araibi is a free man. A Thai court stopped proceedings against a footballer after Bahrain abruptly abandoned his bid to seek extradition. This came a day after the Thai foreign minister held talks with the Bahraini crown prince in the capital city, Manama. It's a wonderful move by Thailand, actually. I think that Thailand has listened um, to the uh, pressure and also to the views of the international public. In 2014, Araibi fled to Australia after being jailed and beaten in Bahrain during a crackdown on pro-democracy athletes. He was later granted political asylum. But a Bahrain court later sentenced him in absentia to 10 years in prison. It convicted him of playing a role in an arson attack during the Arab Spring protests in Bahrain in 2011. He's denied the charges and says he was playing in a televised football match at the time. In November, Arabi was detained upon arrival in Bangkok on an Interpol red notice requested by Bahrain. Activists said he should have never been detained as red notice requests cannot be used against refugees by the country they fled. There is still uh, a journey ahead. There is still uh, a process to be followed. Uh, but we are very grateful for the relationship we have with the Thai government that has enabled us to work through these issues in the way that we have. Australia, rights groups and FIFA had been demanding Araibi's release for months. I spoke to his wife uh, just a little while ago and she's absolutely thrilled. Um, she's beside herself. One of the things she said to me was, I can't believe it's real. Is this a dream? Is he really coming home to me? But Araibi's troubles may not be over. Bahrain's foreign ministry says his guilty verdict is still in place and that it will pursue legal action, despite the decision to drop its extradition case. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.